Painting has a long evolutionary history. It stretches as far back as 40,000 years ago. To put it into perspective, that's even before the domestication of dogs. Therefore, it shouldn't surprise us that the world abounds with paint types. All we can do is figure out their differences and similarities. In this write-up, I'll hinge on Latex VS enamel paint. Latex paints are water-based paints. They were initially known commonly as regular wall paints. This alias has ebbed over time due to the emergence of several types of water-based paints other than latex. Enamel paints have had an even more zigzag nomenclature through the years. It used to be that old base paints are enamel paints, thanks to their hard and shiny appearance upon drying. Nowadays, almost all top-notch paints are labeled enamel, so the original enamel old paint association is becoming somewhat ambiguous. However, there are still more old based enamels than other enamel paints. Therefore, if you describe a paint as enamel, it will resonate with what most people have in mind. I, a first-rate old base paint. In this video, enamel paint loosely translates to an zero old base paint while latex paint is water-based. Keep that in mind as you read along. What is latex paint? Let's take a close-up view of latex paint. It's an emulsion of polymer particles in water and has a special feature of hardening on exposure to air. Latex is mostly white, but there are orange, yellow, and scarlet forms. Latex is available naturally and synthetically artificially. Latex paint is mainly made from synthetic latex. Synthetic latex is a substance that mimics the characteristics of natural latex. Instead of harvesting from the rubber tree, Synthetic latex is processed from petrochemicals. Synthetic latex is used to make paint because it solidifies through water evaporation and coalescence of polymer fragments. It means they form films without the emission of harmful organic fumes. What is enamel paint? Enamel paint is paint that dries to a lustrous and hardened finish. It's for coating outdoor surfaces or those susceptible to wear and temperature variations. Don't confuse enamel paint with porcelain vitreous enamel. The latter is powdered glass fired to surfaces at high temperatures. It then dries to a hard, polished coating. Originally, old base paint had the best durability profile. It dried hardest with a higher sheen than others. So, painting professionals reserve the enamel label for top-notch old base paints. Old base paints poor toxicity profile, high yellow aging tendency, and environmental degradation effects have prompted a shift to water-based paints and urethane paints. The current water-based and urethane paints have hardness, durability, and sheen profiles similar to old base paints. They have therefore assumed the enamel paint tag. Different companies have adopted the enamel paint designation because people associate the term with a strong, durable, and lustrous coating. In that regard, there is old based enamel paint, water based enamel paint, acrylic enamel paint, urethane enamel paint, etc. Presently, there are still more old based enamel paints in the market than any other enamel paint. It's because all the original enamel paints were oil based. With time, They'll be crowded out with water-based, urethane, and acrylic enamel paints as they have a better safety and aging profile. Latex via Enamel paint, similarities and differences. Let's have a detailed look into different aspects of these paints. Surface adhesion. Old based enamel shows stronger adhesion to surfaces compared to latex paints. It's due to the binding mechanism of old based paints, i.e. water and solvents evaporate, leaving polymer molecules that form strong hydrogen bonds with each other. Latex paints also bond strongly with substrates, but the binding is weaker than old based enamels. Disposal. As mentioned earlier, old based enamel paint poses a health risk to humans and is an environmental pollutant. On the other hand, latex paint is environmentally friendly and is not as harmful to humans. In that respect, the disposal modes for the two paint types vary markedly. So what happens when you finish your painting project and have leftover paint? You need to handle appropriately and dispose of all kinds of paint responsibly. The best thing to do for both latex and enamel paint is save for touch-ups or gift to a neighbor or friend. If the paint can is open, store it for future use. That's where the similarity for both paints ends as far as disposal is concerned. Brushes, with the quality of paintbrush aside, no paintbrush is better than the rest. Each of the brushes has different characteristics that suit different painting situations. The brushes vary in bristle angles, length, thickness, bristle stiffness, etc. Enamel paints work well with both natural hair brushes and synthetic brushes. The natural hair brushes include hog brushes and pig hair brushes. Latex paints are more compatible with synthetic brushes. Natural hair brushes soak up the water component of latex paints. Odor Old based enamel paint has a more pungent odor than latex paint. All old base paints release fumes called volatile organic compounds, Vox. The fumes have a strong smell that nauseates. 
the smell lingers for at least three days. Suppose you stay within the vicinity of the old base paint. You will experience a mild headache, vomiting, eye irritation, respiratory problems, and lightheadedness. Latex paint is water-based. It also has an odor but is not as strong as oil-based enamel paint. The odor dissipates comparatively faster than oil-based paint. Fluctuating weather conditions. Oil-based enamel paint is better suited to handle fluctuating weather conditions. It dries to form a solid and impenetrable coat on surfaces. The enamel paint is therefore suitable for exterior applications. But, oil-based paints turn yellow as they age. Exposure to adverse weather conditions, especially UV rays, hastens this yellowing process. Your surface loses its sparkle and looks different from the original paint color. Water-based paints like latex don't yellow when they age. It's advantageous as the paint will maintain its color on the painted surface for a long time. Pigment or binder proportion. Pigments dictate the paint color, while binders determine the paint sheen level and durability. Latex paint has a high pigment to binder ratio. This explains its richly colored appearance. Oil-based enamel has a high binder to pigment ratio. This accounts for its higher sheen level and durability than latex paint. Thinning agents. Paint thinning refers to reducing the thickness of paint to make it more flowable and easily applicable. It's done by adding agents called paint thinners to your paint. The paint must be soluble in the thinning agent for the process to be feasible. An agent known as Floetrol is currently the most popular additive thinner for latex paint and other water-based paints. The agent enhances the flow and leveling characteristics of the said paints. Clean up. Clean up is necessary to remove accidental spills and general cleaning of equipment after you finish the painting task. Latex paint needs water as a cleanup agent. The paint is water-based, making it easily soluble and washable with water. On the other hand, enamel paint requires turpentine or mineral spirits for cleanup. It's because it is oil-based, and oil is soluble in organic solvents like turpentine. Interior vs. Exterior U Interior vs. Exterior comparison between the two paints is circum- You need to do a cost-benefit analysis before settling for latex paint or enamel paint. Latex paint is better suited for both interior and exterior walls, but not floors because floors are high traffic. Enamel paint is perfect for outdoor surfaces, mostly wood and metals. Latex paint isn't too bad for outdoor surfaces. It's only that oil-based enamel is better. But oil-based enamel paint tends to yellow when aging, mainly in the presence of UV radiation sunlight. Waterproof or water resistance. Oil-based enamel has better waterproof properties than latex paint. As you may already know, water and oil don't mix. That's the rationale behind the water resistance nature of oil-based paints. Even when it comes to cleaning oil-based paint spills, water just won't work. You have to use mineral spirits like turpentine or acetone. On the other hand, latex paints are water-based and can therefore mix easily with water. Also, soapy water and other water-based solutions can clean it up but they only yield to water when still wet. Once they dry, they become water resistant, though not as much as old based enamel. Appearance. Old based enamel has a more radiant polished appearance than latex paint. The reason is rather apparent. From our day-to-day -day encounters, oil is more shiny than water. By extension, why do we apply oil to our bodies? To give us a glow. It makes us look new. By the same token, old based paints make surfaces appear brighter or sparkly. Durability. Enamel paint is more durable than latex paint. The paint additive that confers durability is the binder. It holds the paint constituents together to prevent wear, tear. Enamel paint has a higher binder proportion than latex paint. As a result, the former is more durable than the latter. Enamel paint does not crack, break, or scratch easily once it dries on a surface. Ease of application. Latex paint takes little effort to apply than enamel paint. The former has excellent flow properties better surface coverage, and short drying times before recoating. Oil-based enamel is a little challenging to apply because it's more viscous and takes longer to dry before recoating. Uses and cost. Latex paint is suited for painting large surfaces, mostly concrete walls. As a result, latex paint is commonly known as regular wall paint. Enamel paints are perfect for trims, moldings, doors, and door furniture and surfaces that are exposed to frequent handling and abrasion. Since enamel paint dries harder and is more durable, it costs more than latex paint. Drying and curing time. Latex paint takes about one hour to be touch dry and four hours to dry for recoating. The curing time before washing is 14 days. Old based enamel paint takes six, eight hours to be touch dry and 24 hours to dry in readiness for recoating. Its curing time is three to four weeks. 
We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.